Hello, everybody, and welcome to Wednesday. Nine and a week ago today, last Thursday, I cut co- well, last Friday, I covered the Nintendo Switch presentation that a lot of people have been waiting on. That happened on Thursday, that's why I said it was Thursday. As well as the Nintendo, the free house stuff that happened the next day on Friday. And I had fun putting that together, and I'm going to do it again, because today, there is today going to be my coverage of the Fire Emblem Direct. January 18th, 2017. Even though for some reason this video is titled February. I predict it's just a typo because it's a Fire Emblem Direct 2.18.2017. But I think that's just a typo because the same date in the year, just wrong months. And I don't know a whole ton about Fire Emblem, so I'm just gonna try my best. And the reason I'm actually, I'm gonna talk about this afterwards, but I said I will not cover it today, that tra- there's a changing plan, so. I'll want to talk about that at the end of the video. And anyway, I'm going to cover it the same way that with Switch presentation, just not in my clip because that video came out to be an hour long. So I'm going to do it not as long. Actually, since I don't know Fire Emblem. Let's get move on, shall we? Alright, starting off, we just have a main contain appropriate, appropriate for children, although probably not because it's Nintendo. Probably it's the most of the team. If we start this up here. The standard opening for Nintendo Direct, just theme for Fire Emblem. That's what's leading me to believe it's a typo. Welcome to Fire Emblem Direct, your destination for news and updates on multiple new Fire Emblem titles. War looms, so prepare for battle by arming yourself with information on the many quests ahead. So Fire Emblem Echoes. It really just told me to stop like Soon, the glorious past right. will be reborn as Fire Emblem Echoes, Shadows of Valencia. This game is inspired by the second installment in the series, Fire Emblem Gaiden, which released exclusively in Japan in 1992. While the art is very much of its time, it helped to define the series' signature style. All right. Gaiden stands out from other games in the series thanks to its unique gameplay system which puts clever twists on strategy conventions and mixes in some exploration in towns and dungeons. As for Fire Emblem Echo, Shadows of Valencia, it reimagines Gaiden on a grander scale. Alright, so the original second game on grand, grander. Alright. The dual protagonists, Alm and Selim, will join others locked in a tragic war dividing the continent of Valencia, which the developers have recreated from the ground up. <laughs> the conflict will come to life even in cutscenes created by Studio Car. In fact, every aspect of Guidance presentation has been updated. I think we're probably... Yep. There we go. Shadows of Valencia. Will launch on the Nintendo 3DS May 19th, 2017, on the 3DS. Alongside the game, Alongside the new figures of Almond Celica will march onto store shelves. We'll have more to announce in the future. So it seems like it's regular fire on them with a twist. On the distant horizon, another full scale war is mounting. That's right. On Switch. A brand new Fire Emblem game is coming to Nintendo Switch. Working title. It will mark the series' first return to home systems since 2008's Fire Emblem really? Radiant Dawn on the Wii console. Really? But with Nintendo Switch, the home console experience of Fire Emblem won't be confined to your house. Yep. Look forward to a planned 2018 release. And that's all we get for this one. This just in from the front lines. A crossover between Koei Tecmo Games' Warriors series and Fire Emblem. And the full trailer includes scenes that weren't in last week's reveal. Take a look. Alright. Alright, so they're from Smash Brothers 4. It looks like it's just the no, Dynasty Warriors. The like, which I'm pretty sure that you will confirm. Fall 2017. Still not ready for battle? Then listen up. 
The game is being developed not only for Nintendo Switch, but also for new Nintendo 3DS systems. Worth new. Look out for Koei Tecmo's Fire Emblem Warriors, brought to you by the team behind Hyrule Warriors in mm -hmm. fall of 2017. Now for a lesson in truly mobile defense. To battle! Alright, Fire Emblem Heroes. You just saw the opening of the first ever Fire Emblem game for smart devices. Smart in this tactical RPG, you'll wage strategic battles in the fantasy world. Wait, this is Nintendo's next big mobile game after Mario Go. You say Mario Go and Pokemon Run. Pokemon Go and Mario Run, Fire Emblem Heroes. And you're in luck. You've been summoned to battle. Brand new original story. Fate has brought two warring kingdoms together in a bitter clash. The Emblean Empire plans to conquer every world it collides with, while the Aspirin Kingdom stands against them, determined to end their tyranny. Now, the Kingdom of Aster faces strategic battles. Each map is an 8x6 grid designed right. to fit on a smartphone screen. That way, you can enjoy the full majesty of tactical roleplay. Even when playing in short bursts. I don't know how I feel about a game such as Fire Emblem going to mobile. To attack, simply drag an ally until it overlaps with an enemy. Or, as in previous Fire Emblem games, you can select a location on the screen to move them, and then select your action. It's your army, so lead them your way. If you manage to defeat every enemy on a given map, victory will be yours. <laughs> so apparently, outside of main quest, there's nothing more you can do. Which I guess makes it more worth the purchase. Don't know how people feel about that. Same, probably the same thing as like the Toad Rally and the and the Kingdom Builder from Go from Mario Run. It's available February February second on Google Play. Available on iPad and phone too. We're opening up the official Fire Emblem Heroes Choose Your Legends event. Starting today, you can visit the website to browse through characters from the Fire Emblem franchise and select the ones that you'd like to see make an appearance in Fire Emblem Heroes. Hmm. Then, the global community's top ranked hero in the world will be featured in Fire Emblem Heroes as Choose Your Legends hmm. event characters. So the one much left after I showed or just a little talk, talking a little bit more about some of the characters you get and then we'll get... I think that's the end of the presentation. Thank you guys for watching all that stuff. And stay tuned for these games releases. Typical stuff. But the reason I'm actually covering it today, because I cause today vlog was supposed to be about me going to the DMV and getting my permit, because we didn't go because we actually supposed to. Lucy put me on puppies and she actually. for a couple days now, and she actually did tonight. So we, we didn't really have time to go to the DMV, but. But either today or tomorrow, we'll go to the DMV. But I figured, I had, free, I had, I had time to go, I don't have to go get, worry about the permit. I was like, I can watch it. So I watched it. And I, I got to my computer on and get editing, so that can be it today. Thank you guys for watching, and let, let me back in tomorrow, shall we?